Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke from Evil Genius Leadership Consultants. We have another guest who's a great business owner from the Las Vegas area. We try to bring you their great stories and lessons they've learned to help you with your business or even just to be successful in your personal life by learning from some of the greats here in Las Vegas. Our next guest, or our current guest <laughs> sitting here with me, Sean Willish is an accomplished senior executive entrepreneur and board member with nearly 30 years of success in marketing and business development. As CEO and senior VP, VP of Business Development for 5AM Global, Sean leads a team to create and execute branding, sales, promotional, digital events, and social media strategies. We talked a little about strategy in our last segment, how important it is. Strategies to help maximize profitability for B2B and B2C corporations. Mm -hmm. Sean, Welcome and thank you thank for being you. here today. It's so great. This is really special. Sean is only the second person we've ever come back as a repeat guest. So this is a this is a huge deal that we've brought her back today and you'll find out exactly why we brought her back. Thank you, so Jason. this is really special. You were here about a year ago with a different company. Yes. But now you have a new business yes. and that's what you're here to tell us about today. Yes. So yes. tell us all about it. Well, and it is a new company. We went through we went through what we call executive transitions. I had a, a separation with my business partner. Some of our philosophies just grew, just grew differently, mm -hmm. and that is not uncommon. And um, great experience. We have nothing but positive things to say because with with each ending, there is usually a great beginning. We hope. We hope. And that's also if you do accept that. If you accept the fact that things are not always permanent and change is good. Change is really good. Mm -hmm. So you take a moment, you learn, you can you are able to assess the situations. You're also learn uh, also able to take, you know, hold some things accountable. Mm -hmm. Adapt and then you move on. You move onward. And I always say you move onward positively and productively. Mm -hmm. We we had a company before, um, and it's the same industry. Mm -hmm. I'm still in marketing. That has been my background for 30 years. So marketing, we had a full service marketing company mm -hmm. and a publication. The only difference now is we don't have a publication. So we are still full service marketing. I put a lot of concentration on people process presentation for profit and we again it's the same thing I have a lot of my same team members which I'm very proud of um, it's been a great trend it, it's been a great challenge but part of that challenge is get to getting to know and accepting those challenges and working through them that's great so the same team you've all come to know and love, if you know Sean, for the most part, but it's a new name, 5AM Global. 5AM Global. And, and it is a brand new company. It's not just the old company rebranded. Yes. It's a brand new company. Brand I wanna, new company. I want to make sure. I, I don't want to confuse the issue by what I just said. So, But you ended your business and you started mm -hmm. a new one, mm -hmm. and that was a little bit of a stressful experience for you. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to correct the word stressful. Okay. It can be stressful, but I think we did a good job um, because we were honest mm -hmm. uh, with ourselves, and I and I did a wise move. I, I you and I talked about mm -hmm. this before, but a lot of times a consultant, a mentor needs a consultant and a mentor. And then one of the biggest things that I did do was I started talking to other business leaders and mm -hmm. individuals and other executives who had also gone through a transition, who had also had a loss, a close mm -hmm. of a business, and, and, and realizing, wow, it is not uncommon, it's not a bad thing, it is a process for growth, yeah. and, and learning that, I had a lot of business uh, owners who are extremely successful right now, and before that success, they had a lot of challenges and a lot of business closings, and a lot of what we like to call business divorces. Yeah, no, They've absolutely. It's, it's, it's more common than most people think. And I'm, I'm looking at you business owners out there in the audience, especially if things are going really well for you right now. There are two types of business owners. There are the business owners who have gone through a major mm -hmm. transition like this, having to close a company, having to split a company up, mm -hmm. sometimes even worse. And then there are those who will. Yes. So <laughs> unless, um, so unless you are the the percent of a percent of a percent who have everything firing on all cylinders all the time. There are those of us who've been through it, exactly. and there are those of us who will. So, and that's common. That's exactly what these business leaders, who, you know, who I spoke with, they said, "Great, congratulations! <laughs> yeah. You have now been promoted to the great life of business. So now I don't go through that again, mm -hmm. and you just keep moving forward." Yeah, absolutely. So, tell us a little bit about what you learned. I mean, you've told us a little bit about what you've learned, but tell us what are some of the other lessons you learned about going through such a. Um, Let's be honest, a major life transition. That's exactly what it is. So it could have been stressful, but it was a major life transition. And one of the things that I learned is to stop, take a moment. Most important thing to do when you go through any transition, when you mm -hmm. have a challenge, is to stop and breathe. 
Absolutely. So one of the, I call wise business people who I went to, I talked to you, Mm -hmm. I talked to a lot of others, but I did speak to a, a, a person who had said to me, let the cake bake because when you're going through those life transitions you want things to happen now you want the change you want you want it to just be over so you can move Mm -hmm. onward and that was where i was struggled with i I, it wasn't stressful um because i saw the positive outcome but it was hard because i wanted it to end so i could move onward and i had a wise person say let the cake bake and that made me take some introspection and say wow just breathe and out of that Mm -hmm came something that we're working on breeze 2019 which is 2019 a big event you have coming up in just a few weeks yes so tell us about breeze 2019 you told us a little about 5am global 5am global you told us a little about breeze 2019 coming out of this let the cake Mm -hmm. break and cake bake let the cake having a rough day today that's okay Let the cake bake and and that need to breathe, which we all mm-hmm. need every mm-hmm. now and then. In fact, should probably do a lot more often. But tell us about tell us about why why also this particular event mm-hmm. to help reinforce that lesson. When you are a busy leader, executive, uh, business owner, and you do take that moment to just breathe then you are able to reflect. And when you can reflect, right, you you can take in some of the positive things and mm-hmm. you really pay attention to what you learn and you value your strengths. And one of the things that I feel very confident about is that we did build a company culture on healthy work-life balance. That's and great. during the time of talking to other executives and realizing that is a big challenge, um, your business leaders do not usually have work or work-life balance for themselves. Therefore, they cannot promote or help support that with Within their own teams. Mm-hmm. So breathe, taking a moment to breathe for clarity. Okay, health wise, there's a lot of situations. But the question is, why can't we have work life balance? What are mm-hmm. the challenges? What are the restrictions? And usually it's something to do with health or its wealth, mm-hmm. whether it's our ambition or our strive, our, our greatest uh, goal for, 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 for um, uh, financial gain, mm-hmm. or if there's a health problem or issues or concerns, usually we struggle with work-life balance. So this is Breathe, Health and Wealth Summit and Expo. We are um, dedicated to help um, share stories and help mm-hmm. share the secrets of successful work-life balance for our business leaders. So those leaders can also develop that within their team and their company culture. So that's what mm-hmm. Breathe um, Health and Wealth Summit is about. So, so it's an event focused on business owners, business yes. leaders, on helping them develop that work-life balance yes. so that they can help mentor and guide their yes. team to have that. Because I saw that a ton in the Air Force of leaders who would say, you have to take care of yourself. You have to have a work-life balance. You have to take care of your family, mm-hmm. spend some time with your family. But they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't do it. And that sends a subliminal message that if the boss is there till midnight and not spending time with, with your family, that there's kind of an unspoken expectation that's what the boss expects from you, whether they really mean that or not. So we're tackling the problem by hitting the leaders with yes. it and giving them good skills and practices and techniques. Yes, yes. Great. Because it's an ongoing challenge. It doesn't, just because you learn it today, you may need reinforcement. Mm -hmm. So what do they say? There's a saying that says, the cobbler goes without shoes. So normally those who push and those mm-hmm. those who help design it don't do the same things for themselves. Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure that yes, the business owners, business leaders, C-suite executives, make sure that those people with high, could be stressful, positions oh, yeah. who are in charge and who have the responsibility of a team, make sure that they do stop and and take that moment for mm-hmm. themselves. And if they do lead with that. So for example, we are honoring, we, so we have a full day summit. Mm-hmm. Um, it's from 8.30 to 5.30 on February 20th at mm-hmm. UNLV. And we have a preceding VIP reception. Okay. During that reception, um, we are honoring Mary Beth Seawald. Mm-hmm. She is the CEO and president of Las Vegas Metro Chamber of mm-hmm. Commerce. Now we're honoring her 2019 Leadership Award because First of all, she does great with balancing work-life balance, Mm -hmm. and she is wonderful to her service professionally and also in the philanthropic uh, world. Mm -hmm. She does lead a team, 
with positive work-life balance. She has a big team, too. She has a big team, too. And they work effectively, efficiently, and productively because of this. And the other thing is we asked our honoree to declare her favorite charity, and she mm -hmm. did declare the Nevada Military Support Alliance. Mm -hmm. um, and that being her favorite charity, we are making sure that all of the proceeds from the VIP reception mm -hmm. are donated to this charity. So we're connecting the dots. Most of our business leaders are philanthropic. Mm -hmm. Our business leaders have relationships, chal relationship challenges a lot of times, personally and professionally. So we're showing the ways that it does work. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And you have a monster speaker oh. lineup for, for yes. this event. So yes. tell us some of the speakers, just a couple of the speakers okay. you're going to have. A couple? Can I give you more? You like can tell handful? me as many as you want. Right. I just don't want to put you on the spot. Turns out. No problem. So first of all, Steve Shore, who is amazing. He he's I've worked with him before. And Steve Shore is one great in this community. He is our model moderator for this for this mm -hmm. event um, and, and and like I said he is amazing um, Steve Shore is the moderator for the summit so we have a full day speaker presentations panel discussion we have Carrie Bluballs who is the CEO and um, president of Vegas Nights mm -hmm. so he's one of our speakers uh, Brett Lashbrook uh, amazing again he he was very supportive from the beginning mm -hmm. he is our owner of the Las Vegas Lights our new soccer team and by the mm -hmm. way we, we love the Knights we feel so good when we go to a Knights game, but if you haven't gone out to a Las Vegas Lights game, please do. There's okay. so much fun and so much right, excitement. You got, you've got your homework, We got audience. homework. But I want to tell you, too, we have Dre Gardner. Dre Gardner um, is, is an amazing yoga instructor with a, mm -hmm. with a very great story. I met him three years ago, and I said, I hope to one day do something with you. So when this event came out, he was a perfect person to engage, and, and, and he's very excited about being a part. We have Shane Jasmine Young. Uh, oh, she she's is great. A, Oh, she's she's great. been on this show. She has. Yes. Well, she's great. Now, from a marketing perspective, I admire her because I can't even give her any advice or any consulting on her branding. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. But she is a lawyer in town, and she focuses a lot on um, estate planning. And and she's great. She's one of our speakers and mm -hmm. panelists. Along with that, we have Dave Levine, who's coming out for from uh, California. He's been a long time long time entrepreneur. He was mm -hmm. one of the first people before you ever heard about Amazon. Before you, there was Uber and and and, and the company who are doing very great without having the inventory. He was the first one um, who started an internet company based on affiliates and, mm -hmm. and growing not only his market, but growing revenue without maintaining uh, inventory, just with relationships and marketing. Mm -hmm. So I call him a, a, a marketing Whiz. So he is actually one of our speakers. Then we have Galit Ventura mm -hmm. Rob Rosen, an amazing author, speaker, and and just one a community. She's she's a big part of our community mm -hmm. and and a um, a fantastic speaker. And I cannot. I have to go more because I have to okay. name. I have to give you Christoph Wyman. Christoph Wyman is a five star customer service specialist, and he does corporate speaking on that. And um, he's actually our business mm -hmm. development partner, so he is one of our speakers. Great, 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 fantastic. You no, know, and, and that is that is a lineup that. <laughs> and we have eighteen. We have yeah, we have that, that's, uh, eighteen. That's more. just scratching the surface, and that is that is a lineup that you will almost never find all at the same event on the same stage in the same day. So if you're interested in any or all of those speakers, where do they go? Okay, so let's go to www.breathesummit.com. Very easy, okay. breathesummit.com. And I'm gonna share this with you because yes, okay. it's a great lineup. And all of these busy professionals, busy individuals, one, are making time to be a part of For this sure. summit. That's one great thing. But they have also been able to master work-life balance. So mm -hmm. if they can do it, I really do urge all of our other leaders, one, come out not only to 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 um, support the event, but come out to learn. You you will get valuable information that, that, one, could only add to your productivity. It's been proven. There's so many studies that show how much happiness and healthy, you know, healthiness between mm -hmm. your company's team adds to profitability. And let's be honest, whether you're profit or non-profit, profit business you need revenue you need Absolutely. you need funding Re you revenue have to grow. cures everything right. right it cures everything so, so. let's bring you out okay <laughs> Thank you. so it's www.breathesummit.com you can get your tickets to the main event which mm -hmm. is which day it's wednesday february 20th 20th and then the vip 
reception is the night before. The night before, and Tuesday. And you can also get your tickets to that yes. at the same place. Yes. And how do they reach 5 a.m. Global? If they're interested in getting help from marketing, just like you've done a great job marketing this event you're yeah. doing, how can they reach you for at 5 a.m. Global? Thank you. So you can reach out to Sean, S-H-A-W-N, Sean at the number 5 a.m., like the morning, 5amglobal.com. And I... And I, I Share one more thing with nope, you. 5 a.m. Global, consider, because we are an international business, there is a famous quote that says, legends, 5, 5 a.m., sorry, 5 a.m., legends are either waking up mm -hmm. or going to bed at that time. I haven't heard that. Yeah. It's a great quote. Yes, it's a great inspiration. All right, well, thank you so thank much for you. being here. Don't go too far. We're going to have you right back for our panel discussion. You don't go too far. We're going to bring Sarah and Lindsay back. We're going to talk about professionalism and what it means to these women and how we address that in our business lives. So stay right here. Jason LaDuke, this is Geeks Are Sexy. We'll be right back.